Dude, we found some already, man. What? 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 We gotta see where these things go. Hello, my name is Carl. And I'm Rocky. And we're here to hunt some Big squash. Foot. Not Bigfoot. It they is don't too call it, no, 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 the, the real hunters call it squash. Say squash. It's got big feet though. Uh, squash. They disappear. Dude. Seriously. That's the end of them. I think we just found a the portal. <laughs> so a portal is where you have some Sasquatch footprints come to a halt out of nowhere. Where did the Sasquatch go? Where did it go? Went into a portal. A portal! We found, we found a portal. We found a portal. So in that same spot, something, we think a Sasquatch, went into a different dimension. And now I think you should go through. We don't have a GoPro, so we're gonna go ahead and tape a phone camera to Rocky so that he can see what's on the other side. Here we go, here we go. I don't think I really went in because, you know, nothing really changed. But, kind of problem solved, thinking maybe I was either too big or that since I didn't dive, I didn't quite hit right. in the right spot and get inside the portal, go to the other dimension. This is key. When hunting Sasquatch, you gotta remember, just like when you're fishing, you gotta bait the fish, right? Get the right type of bait for the fish. For a Sasquatch, number one bait. Number one, apples. Apples. And so what we're gonna do is we get this camouflage blanket. You put this on the ground, you can't even, you don't even know somebody's there. No part of your body can be seen. Nothing. Camouflage, okay? Put apples on top of you. Yes. Okay, now I realize that your bait Rocky's gonna be under the blanket. Mm. We got some apples. Sasquatch are coming. All right, I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Okay. I went back to check on Rocky a couple hours later, and a bunch of apples were eaten, but he said he didn't see a Sasquatch. I think he ate the apples. We're not very techy, so we grabbed three guys that we knew could handle the job. Three tech experts, kids that we pulled out of school. We went walking into the heart of Sasquatch territory. We didn't see anything. So much for drones. So now the gloves are coming off. We're going foolproof mode. Foolproof? Yes. We are not going to use the apple trap on this one. We're going to use the trap camera. Trap camera. So the trap camera captures any movement, any movement at all. It could be a deer, it could be a Sasquatch, it could be a little rabbit, it could be a Bigfoot, anything, and it moves by and it's gonna capture it. Now, there is a legend that says that the Bigfoot know that the trap camera's there and sometimes will move it. But we put it in a pretty camouflage spot. Not gonna be a problem this time. So, we found another portal. Another portal. We're gonna find some other folks that can go through the portal. Okay guys, listen close. You're about to enter a portal. I either didn't get in because I was either too big or because I didn't dive. He didn't dive. Take it away. Ah! Ah! Yeah, that one didn't work either. Unfortunately, we didn't find a Bigfoot today. Hey, so they are called Bigfoot. No, no, they're called set Squatch. We find a Squatch today. You just said Bigfoot. They have big feet. Yeah, it yeah, only goes yeah. to reason that they could be called Bigfoot. Thank you. My mistake. We didn't find a Squatch today. Not a mistake. But we think they're out there still. We're going to find one. We're going to find one one of these days. We're going to capture one. We're going to get one. We will. I'm thinking we got some good footage here. Hey! Get out of the road! People. So, hey, just like we were looking for Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Everybody's looking for something. And even back in Jesus' day, people were actually looking to Jesus. And that's where I'm going with this. Two guys in particular says this about him. It says, now it came to pass, and Luke, this is actually Luke 20, 
4, verses 30 through 31. Now it came to pass, as he, being Jesus, sat at the table with them, that he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished from their sight. Everybody's looking for Those two guys were actually expecting Jesus to be the king of all kings who ruled the world. He didn't do it right then, but he was still alive. They saw him after he was crucified. These two in particular were all looking for something, and everything that people are looking for, if it's not Jesus, it's not going to satisfy you. Sports, cars, whatever, right? Education, that perfect spouse, okay? Perfect girlfriend, perfect boyfriend, whatever. You're looking for, for fulfillment. You're looking for all that stuff that you want to make you feel better. Ain't going to be there unless you're looking for it in Jesus. 